Hey, I'm Mark Smith. Hey folks, I'm Mark Smith. I'm uh, coming to you live from my hometown right now. This is the duplex I grew up in, specifically on the left side, marked as B. A is on the right. And this is basically, this is the neighborhood I grew up in. This would be sort of like the Mark Smith life equivalent of, you know, that special place in the Hyrule Forest where the Legend of Zelda, the Ocarina of Time started. You know, and he's a little boy and uh, blah, blah, blah. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm no Michael Jackson. You know, I want to grow up, but I'm just trying to tell you my hometown is Groton, Massachusetts. So I'm going to show you around. Uh, you know, I know this place in and out. Like the back of my hand, from the four corners to the forge to the lily pad. Uh, the Four Corners restaurant. Across the street from what is currently now a Shaw's supermarket shopping center used to be a Chinese restaurant that served its purpose all the way from the World War II era clear of the 1940s, clear through till maybe 2000 or so, when it was mothballed and then eventually tore down. The Forge is, of course, in Westford, the neighboring town to my right, and that's Forge Village. The lily pad is the nickname we gave for the swimming area. It's a pond, maybe open to residents of Groton only. And this is an HD. This is pretty cool. So this is the hometown. This is the uh, Route 119 junction. And right now I presume I happen to be on 225. Groton has become a part of my life. It's just where, you know, it's the home base. Right. If I got a choice of where to live in housing arrangements or apartments, I would really love it if it could be in Groton. It's just, it's a part of my life. Not a bad place to live. There's the haunted house. So let's see what happened. I'm checking on where the Four Corners is now. Four Corners restaurant. That's it. The parking lot anyways. Wow, that's sad. That's the lot it used to stand on, and that's what's that's what would happen to a typical parking lot if left in abandonment for 20 some odd years. The weeds grow in. Rock the center. This used to be an old folks' home. If 
bikers. Cool. Nice. Oh, I just want to get along. And Groton, it's, it's fun. Brings me back to speed. We do it like you do it. Where's the beef? Extra flavor for that extra long. Rock and glide. Extra flavor for that extra long ride. I need you with extra, the extra fresh flavor. Plus an extra, extra, extra long time. Extra last, extra long. Oh no, I have a strong feeling that we're at a place that's not in Kansas anymore. Oh, Dorothy. This is your place. No, I mean, it's the name of the street is Dorothy Place. And it's not a street, it's a place. That used to be a row of mailboxes. That's where we used to wait for the buses and Mom was always so astute to always bring us out there. Oh, well. Uh, you know, we love one another a lot. It's just, I mean, it's like in that movie Napoleon Dynamite. Yeah, I mean, people can be a little odd, sort of strange somewhat, but they care about one another quite a bit. Forge Village Road? How is that so? I thought it looks like they're, they're in Dorothy Place. This is the apartment in Dreamland, the Dreamland equivalent of the top apartments up there, are haunted. In fact, in number five, I keep hearing these ghostly noises when I visit them. Even, yeah? All right, even in this day and age, as late as 2011, if I go up into this top left apartment, object, random objects start levitating. And they start, you know, uh, just flo floating in midair, and then suddenly they toss themselves at me. Toss themselves right at me. And I'm like, ah, and there's like this ghostly, like, ooh, like kind of this hollow noise. And so I go to this window and I, and I spread my arms and I fly away. So, um, that's haunted up there. This one's also haunted, but it's just a bunch of, or there could be very atonal music that's out of rhythm. It goes like, and it just sounds, one of those things that you laugh at in broad daylight, but for some reason, creepy out of your, creep the daylights out of you, or creep you out of your wits in the middle of the night. So it's kind of like, some things just really scare you. They sound scary in your dream, but then if somebody were to play back the same dream during the day when you're wide awake, you laugh. 
because it's just not scary anymore. So, these are the apartments. So there's the haunted apartments up there. In my hometown. This is Mark Smith coming at you from my hometown of Groton, Massachusetts. And I see that the uh, ghastly spirits or the haunted ghosts up there. The evil spirits must really like it cold because there is an air conditioning unit up there. There's another haunted apartment up there featuring a ghost who must really like satellite television. Well, you know, even the, um, even the more ghostly possessed segments of society need to watch television as well. Yeah. Even people with more uh, haunting-based agendas gotta see TV.